do we have prophets today and when i talk about prophets i'm talking about the guys who hear directly from god and uh, god gives them uh, special words and special things uh to go and tell a congregation do we really have prophets today or are the prophets that we see today not real and uh if god wants to speak to us does he really use prophets or is there a certain way that he does things now this is not meant to bash anyone, but it's just to bring reality of God's word. Now, something you have to understand. The Bible says in the book of uh, Luke, chapter 16, verse 16, that the law and the prophets were until John. The law and the prophets were until John. And since that time, the kingdom of God is preached, and every man presses unto it. So you have heard that, that the law and the prophets were until John. So we understand that the law of Moses was there to preach to us at that time concerning, uh, you know, keeping the laws of Moses. Now we are under grace. We are no longer under the law. And as well, the prophets, Isaiah, Daniel, and all those people, they were given special messages by God to come and tell the people, the public. And now... What does this mean that the law and the prophets were until John? Until John the Baptist came, he introduced the man Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ got the mantle now from the law and the prophets. And now it is a time of grace. Let me show you something. Do you remember in the book of Matthew 17 from verse 1, when Jesus got transfigured? What really happened? The Bible says from verse 1, And after six days Jesus takes Peter, James, and John, his brother and brings them up into a high mountain apart and was transfigured before them and his face did shine as the sun and his raiment was as white as the light and behold there appeared unto them Moses and Elijah talking with him and of course there is a other story which is spoken there so why did Moses and Elijah appear at the transfiguration of Jesus people do not know but this was for the specific purpose or the reason of the other verse we spoke that the law and the prophets were until john now moses was representing the law and elijah was presenting the prophets and it's like they came and gave mantle now to jesus and now jesus you've taken over this is the age of grace people do not understand that and they just think oh he was just speaking some it was just for the purposes of them seeing you know there's nothing which happens without a reason in god's kingdom so this was showing that now we are done on our side now this man has taken control just the same way when john the baptist introduced jesus and the spirit of god spoke and said now listen to this man this is my beloved son now, don't listen to any other people there. Listen to him. And that's why even uh, John the Baptist says, I must decrease so that he may increase. And now we see we have uh, the spirit of God right now. Jesus, when he died, he went up and now we have his spirit in us. And what does the Bible say? In Joel chapter 2 verse 28, the Bible says, And it shall come to pass afterward, that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Did you hear that word? All flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams and your young men shall see visions. So now in the end times, all people shall prophesy. What is prophecy? It is to reveal God's word. What were what were the people, the all-time prophets doing? They were revealing God's word. And by that time, because there was not a Bible, there was no Bible, there was no reference book or something. They were revealing what God has spoken to them in private and then they reveal it to the public. But right now, God has already given us his word, the Bible, so that now if I want to prophesy, I have to reveal what God is speaking from the Bible. I just reveal it. That is what we call revelation. So I can prophesy, you can prophesy. As long as you have Jesus in you, you have the spirit of God, you can be able to prophesy. That's why the Bible says, your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Even your baby can prophesy. We are all prophets. If, if you have Jesus Christ in you, you're a prophet. So now, we don't have the all-time prophets, those individuals who used to hear unique things from God and come and tell the people. Now, God cannot contradict his word. If your prophet tells you, oh, God has told me that you give me all your wealth and uh, now I'll, uh, you know, God has told me, give me this, this and that, do this and that, and it's contradicting God's word, then 
that is a lie because God does not contradict his word. This is the new spirit of prophecy. This is the spirit of prophecy. And understand one thing. Uh, Paul even said, it is much more important right now that we all spoke God's word. We all prophesy than even most of the things that people do. Listen, in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 5, it says, I would, I would that you all speak um i i would that you all speak with tongues but rather that you prophesied like he's saying it's it, it would be much more better that you prophesied instead of speaking in tongues which people tried so much to run after and say oh i'm speaking tongues." well you can speak in tongues if you want but the most important right now is the prophesying bringing out of what god is speaking in his word for greater is he that prophesies than he that speaks with tongues, except he interprets that the church may receive edifying. You see, people are running, oh, I have to speak. Oh, God has told me this, God has told me. No, the most important thing is sit down and read God's word. Prophesy, say what God is speaking from his word. And again, to show you something else, you see right now, anybody who is saved, he has the spirit of prophecy. God is in him. In Hebrews chapter 1 from verse 1, the Bible says, God, who at sundry times or who at some times in diverse manners spoke in time past to the fathers by the prophets, in simpler times, God who in those times in different diverse manners spoke to our forefathers using the old time prophets, has in these last days spoken unto us by his son, whom he has appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds. Right now, God is using his son, Jesus Christ, who now is in us. Where is Jesus? Jesus is in us, in our bodies. You see the point? So now, God speaks through the son who is in us, the Holy Spirit. He doesn't use the prophets like, oh, I'm prophet this, I'm prophet that. God has told me this, has told me that. If God has told you that, then we share the same spirit. Let me hear from him as well, right? And there are people who will come here running and tell me, oh, there's a fivefold ministry. God has given these, uh, some people are prophets. Listen to what the Bible says in Ephesians 4, verse 11, downwards. It says, and he gave some apostles. Is it all were given apostles? No, some, some. Back in the old time, God gave some people to hear from the apostles, the people who are living in the time of Jesus and after some apostles and some prophets is it all people who heard the prophets no if you lived in the time of isaiah you would hear isaiah speaking if you lived in the time of apostle paul you heard apostle paul speaking so it was some prophets some apostles and some evangelists like evangelists for example we have a philip the evangelist and some pastors and some teachers so there are different ways that god has spoken to people all right, for the perfecting of the saints and for the work of the ministry and for the defying of the body of Christ, right? So now, different times, God has appointed so many different people to go and preach the word, to go and edify people, right? Right now, the prophets that we have, it is the people who have been filled by the Spirit of God in the last days to prophesy out, prophesying out. And this Spirit is to all people. All people can now be able to prophesy. Do you get the point? So do we have prophets today? Well, yes and no. We don't have the all-time version of prophets. We have the new version of prophets who is everyone who is filled by the Spirit of God. He can edify people using the Word of God. He can reveal as a prophet of God, right? So prophesying is revealing God's Word, what He has already spoken in his word he does not contradict himself but the all-time prophets were until john john the baptist that is the all-time prophets those ones are gone and there is no longer these special prophets they are gone so i hope this made sense to you you are able to understand and do not be fooled by someone telling you god has shown me something and it is only me who he has told uh, spoken to that one is gone right now we hear from the same spirit the Holy Spirit. God does not speak to individuals. He speaks to everyone in the body of Christ. And if he has spoken to that man, let him, let him speak to me as well and confirm with me because we share the same spirit. Right?